Your campaign relies, it seems to me, very heavily on this idea of winning by superdelegates. In talking to your supporters over time before, months ago, they said superdelegates were unfair, it was anti-democratic, mm -hmm. yeah. but now the Sanders victory march relies on superdelegates. No, no, John, no, that's not the point at all. What is unfair is when I win a state by 70 percent of the vote, and superdelegates in that state vote for Hillary Clinton because they're part of the Democratic establishment. That's unfair. What, what's unfair is before I even get into the campaign, Hillary Clinton has some four or five hundred, <coughs> excuse me, superdelegates who are on her side. That is unfair. But it is not unfair to say to these superdelegates, to say, okay, look, do you want to defeat Trump, capture the White House, not give it over to some right wing Republican, take a look at which candidate is better suited according to virtually every national and statewide poll, to defeat Donald Trump. And I think I am that candidate. And what if a superdelegate uh, is thinking about going to you, but Hillary Clinton won their state? Presumably they should stick I with think, Hillary you Clinton. Know, look, there's not a rigid rule. But I think, you know, if you win, Hillary Clinton wins with 53% of the vote. She won Illinois by a point or two. Sure. But when a candidate, whether it's Clinton or myself, you know, she demolished us in Mississippi, you know, I think the superdelegates should support her in Mississippi. But when in states like Colorado uh, and in many other states, Utah, etc., we win the overwhelming majority of vote, I think those superdelegates should go with their state. And what this is really about, John, is that the American people from one end of this country to the other are asking fundamental questions about why we are the only major country on earth not to provide paid family and medical leave, not to provide health care to all through a Medicare for all single payer program why we have so much income and wealth inequality. The American people really do want change. And people who want change are going to come out to vote. A large vote of Democrats win.